Well, we're learning more about the victims of the attack. Alex in the Cube has more. We are indeed, Janat. Um, close to 300 people killed. Now, one of those killed uh, was Shantha Mayaduna. You can see her pictured here. She was a well-known television chef in uh, Sri Lanka. This post from her daughter, who was also killed, the Sangha here, saying, Easter breakfast with family. And this is the photograph, the last one we can see publicly on uh, her daughter's Facebook page. But we now know, of course, that her mother and Nisanga herself, two of those killed in these horrific attacks in Sri Lanka. We're starting to get more of a sense of some of the other families uh, and people affected by this too. I might just turn now to uh, Anders Hols uh, Paulsen here. He is a wealthy businessman. He's a stakeholder in ASOS. His family firm is a uh, bestseller. And he lost his three of his four children in the attack. His company confirming in a statement that uh, the reports they say are indeed true and they ask for everybody to respect uh, the family at this time. And indeed, when we're talking about families, let me just bring you up this photograph of this British family. We have a statement from Ben Nicholson here. Uh, this is a British family. He confirms in what is a very difficult statement to read. He says that his wife and his two children were killed. And it's a very moving statement I have here. He says, mercifully, all three of them died instantly and with no pain and suffering. That was at one of the hotels in Colombo. We can then also bring you the story of Dieter Kowalski. He is a 40-year-old American. This was his last post about going to Sri Lanka on Facebook. He says, and the fun begins. Love these work trips. 24 hours of flying. See you, uh, see you soon, Sri Lanka. That's Dieter Kowalski from America. We know as well the Turkish authorities have confirmed that two and named two uh, engineers who also their identity has been confirmed by the firm they work for, two engineers killed from Turkey in these attacks. Um, at this stage, of course, Janat, these are just the first names that we are getting. There are, of course, 290 people believed to have been killed, more than, uh, oh, sorry, at least, I should say, 290 people killed. And the stories don't get any easier, even if the numbers are large. We know in total the uh, UK confirming eight Britons uh, among those killed. We've also had the confirmation of one person from the Netherlands as well as one uh, person from Portugal and a number of other nations around the world. In the sense that as the days will go on, as we start to know more about who these victims were, a sense then you get a real idea of the scope of this human the human side of this story, which obviously can be very difficult to understand when you're talking about numbers as high as 290 people.